So, hi everybody, Markus Nitten and my name. Um, we want to show today what we did in the last uh, few months, connecting GraphGIS database natively to GeoServer. So the idea is uh, to offer a new uh, Grass, Rasta data store within GeoServer. This is a joint work of the two companies, Mundialis and Terrestris. We are sister companies sitting in the same building in Bonn and occasionally come up with joint work. So, uh, we are working a lot with GrassGIS and also a lot with GeoServer. Uh, those knowing GrassGIS know that it comes with its own uh, data format for good reason. And uh, of course, you do not want to duplicate anything. We're talking about l large amounts of data. We do time series processing and all this stuff. Um, and especially also want to be able to see intermediate results uh, within your work yeah? and maybe in a way that you have OGC web services or something for collaboration. And yeah, what does it mean? So we wanted to kind of connect GraphJS to GeoServer. What if that would work? And so we looked into the details. There's GDAL as usual, which is doing most of the job. Um, there's uh, for a long time already a GDAL grass driver. We have uh, moved it out of GDAL itself uh, for easier maintenance for everybody. And uh, this is sitting on GitHub as usual. Um, and what did we want to achieve? Of course, keep the raster format as it is. Just read from there. Uh, be able also to support uh, space time cubes, which, are, which can be managed, generated, analyzed in GraphGIS, and turn it in WMS time. And of course, do not limit things to two gigabyte because that would be annoying. So effectively, we came up with some 70, 50 lines of Java to solve the problem and uh, renovate a little bit the GDA grass driver, which can be used, by the way, uh, also by other software, by QGIS, by GDA itself, if you want to directly read grass data, convert them to something else. So how does it look like? This is a screenshot of the uh, Rasta data store. You have a selector there. Uh, please uh, take the grass format now, then you register your data set. And this, if you look closely, cell HD, that is a subdirectory in the grass uh, database, which is simply the header <laughs> file of, uh, of the grass raster data, and you point it to there, and then uh, GeoServer will read it, fill in the bounding boxes and all this stuff, tell you which band to use if, if you have multiple bands, and boom, you get a result. So. This looks, of course, a bit annoying because black and white. Why is that? That is just one of the modus LST also. We use a lot of LST stuff unstyled. So what about this style? That was the next thing to be done. So we wrote two grass add-ons. They are not yet online, but they come soon as maybe after return from this week. Um, our GeoServer publish and our GeoServer style. That means from your grass database, you publish directly into GeoServer, register the stuff there. And you can basically automate everything. It means if you do batch processing and at the very end you put these commands here, they pop up in, in GeoServer then. So this is the common view. Here's some random example, world pop data, um, red through grass. Uh, we have done, uh, well, we have a server, Actinia Mundialis DE, where you can find this stuff. Uh, from there, through GrassJS, we can do analysis. We push it to GeoServer, we get our WMS. And eventually, of course, you can consume it with QGIS or whatever you want. Um, and you have the style alongside, so there's nothing to do. I just open uh, the WMS catalog, um, and then you can look at the data. So where's the stuff? Um, homepage is uh, on GitHub, uh, the repository as well. And then we release uh, occasionally on ne our Nexus server the artifact, so it's pretty easy to set it up, basically two commands. You will see Maven clean up, Maven uh, install, and then you have two uh, files which come out of this. You see here the two files, and those you copy along with uh, the GDAL jar into the right directory of GeoServer, and you are set. Start the GeoServer, and that's it. Um, pretty easy nowadays, I would say. Uh, this has been founded by, uh, funded, sorry, by two projects. One is the Connecting Europe uh, Geoharmonizer project we just concluded, and another one is a national one called FAIR on uh, making climate and weather data available. So, usual topic, how to get data online. And, um, well, happy to talk to you if you have questions, if you want to try it out, I can assist, and thank you. <laughs>